What do I think of when I look at this artwork? La artiste en saint atelier. The artist in his studio by Marc Chagall. It's lovely. It looks like there's ghosts. <gasps> well, it's all about the colour, isn't it? I am not feeling any emotion at all from it. It looks <laughs> very calm, but also very mad. <laughs> The artist, he's lovely. He looks a he looks a very kind man. You can you can get lost in this painting. It's it's a calming picture. I'd, I'd like to look at it every day. Looking at this painting, yes, it makes me feel serene and calm and happy. The first thing I notice is the swell of colour. This painting is a turbulent boat disturbed by a wild sea, and we are in the eye of the storm. In this storm, colours do not stay neatly within the lines. But go downstairs, to the lower half, to the artist painting cute flowers in his studio by a yellow house and a picket fence. So calm and naive, you would guess he was thinking only about flowers, this simple man, enraptured by a bunch of lilacs. But no, Chagall says, this mind is filled with horses playing violins, green faces undulating on cheese string bodies and levitating legs. This mind is filled with terrifying and unexplained visions. Yeah, it's daddy's a, it's that, and mum's trying to get the tar. Oh my goodness me, and who's this here? Me. Is that you? What are you doing? Painting. What are you painting? Um, a T-Rex. The artist is obviously painting. And whatever is wandering above him is what he is thinking. But there appears to be an angel, a devil and a violin, which makes... <laughs> I can't make any sense out of the connection. How does it make me feel? As I said, confused. Well, the first thing that I notice is him, the artist. There he is, down the bottom, at an easel, painting something, a still life. Flowers, something traditional, something safe. Above him, pushing him forwards almost, is an explosion of movement and colour. Is it a river? Is it a circus? Is it marginalia? The doodles done by medieval monks on illuminated manuscripts to keep themselves occupied whilst they were doing the boring bits in the middle. Or is it a doorway into another world? I don't know, but to be honest, I don't mind not knowing. It makes me think of a haunted house because it looks a bit mad and it looks spooky. The lady is a ghost, the man is doing a painting and the horse up there is doing a violin. There's a bit of funny in there because it's like, why is the horse in blue? <laughs> Everything's just mysterious in there. I see an artist only looking at his easel while the world seems to burn around him. It's somehow quite dark and sad to me, even with the bright and angry colours of red and orange and purple. My gaze gets captured behind the artist by a woman in white who seems to be staring. She's dancing as if she cannot stop to the tune played by a horse with hands. All around them, the sky is on fire. But the artist does not notice. He remains fixed on his flowers. Perhaps they are all he can see. Art is emotion. I'm not an artist, so I'm not worried about his imagination or what he's trying to do. I want to feel how I feel about it. Belarusian-born French artist Marc Chagall was associated with a wide variety of works. He composed his images based on emotions and reminiscence of his early life. This work, L'artiste dans son atelier, shows the artist in the studio. The dreamlike scene is conveyed in a ballet of soft purple. The gentle smiles of the artist at his easel and the female figures above him, which believed to be his wife Bella, and the white dress with a splash of grain on her face. 
an imagined blue creature holds a violin with a red figure connecting with a yellow sun-like circle above the artist's easel. In Chagall's book, My Life, the artist states that art seems to me to be above all a state of the soul. There's a lesson here somewhere, a word of advice. Don't be grounded or realistic. Keep your head in the clouds, colour outside the lines. It's much more fun. So, that's what it makes me think of. What about you? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.